Hey guys, Eden Denise here. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a video today on how I lost 20 pounds in two months. So let's get started. Demma. 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 Basically, over the last two months, I actually started eating healthy and um, paying more attention to just what I was eating, what I was drinking in April, at the end of April, um, April 21st to be exact, and I just completely switched up. I did not wait for the next month, I did not wait for Monday, all those excuses that you can do. I'll start here, I'll start then, no, I'll start right away. Just eating healthy and drinking water, uh, doing the basics. Um, I did the first week and I just, I, I meal prepped, but it was not as, um, not as fancy. I would use like the frozen dinners and that was just for the first week. And then the second week I actually um, started ordering from this meal prep service we have here and it's called Healthy Chew. And hey baby, my puppy wants to say hi. He's so cute. He is a Morky Shoe, Maltese, Yorkie, Poodle, Schnauzer mix. But anyways, um, I started ordering from Healthy Chew and they will make your meals for you every week and deliver it to your house. So it was very handy. The meals are very good. Um, they're healthy. So I was able to keep track of how many calories I was eating and just being more mindful of what I was putting into my body. So that is a huge part of it. I do recommend that you meal prep because that takes a lot of the pressure off. You're not going to be walking into your kitchen and starving and not know what to eat and just grab whatever. You're gonna have a packaged meal ready for you to eat and you just eat it and you'll feel good because you didn't cheat, you did, you did good. Um, so that takes care of the meal part of it. As far as exercising, over the last two months, I actually haven't really exercised that much. Maybe I've exercised a week worth, maybe seven days out of the last two months, and it, it really hasn't helped or hurt in any way. I still lost 20 pounds in two months, so 10 pounds a month and that was with barely exercising. Now when the weight loss slows down, I do plan on implementing some exercise because I do know it's important. Um, you wanna lift weights and retain your muscle while you're on weight loss program so you don't end up losing muscle instead of fat. That is bad. Um, so that's as far as the gym goes, the diet. Um, I cut out all, pretty much all sugar. I don't drink sodas, no tea. And in that, in drinking more water, I've noticed my face starting to clear up more, so it's a plus all around. Water will help you lose weight. It'll clear your skin up. It'll just make you feel a whole lot better. So I definitely recommend drinking a lot of water. Um, what I do is I'll take my weight and divide it by two and that's how many ounces a day that I drink for water so if you want to use that as a guide I definitely do suggest doing that because you'll notice a huge difference if you go to the bathroom and your pee is a weird orange or yellow color that means you are not getting enough water and sister you need to drink some more because your body can't operate unless it's getting enough water. I'll just say that. So drink water, eat healthy, meal prep for sure. I definitely cannot say what will help you more than meal prepping because you'll know how many calories you're putting in. You won't reach for anything you shouldn't eat. It makes life a whole bunch easier. So uh, I'm going to be looking at my notes just so I can make sure I got everything here. Um, 
as far as cheating I don't really cheat that much I might cheat maybe once every two weeks and by cheat I mean cheat meal I won't cheat like a whole day because I just know myself if I cheat a whole day I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna feel like crap the next day and be disappointed when I look at the scale and it's gone up because of all the water weight it's just a downward spiral so I just I eat one cheat meal maybe every two weeks and it'll be like pizza or something that I really enjoy just to keep me on track um, so I'm not discouraged or depriving myself in any way um, hey baby <laughs> but yeah definitely um, cheat meal occasionally it's not gonna hurt you it can it can only help because it'll keep you motivated um, my view on when I see foods that I want that I can't necessarily have right now while I'm losing weight is it'll always be there like I'm on this weight loss journey it may take a year that um, burger or that pasta or whatever I'm craving it'll always be there it'll be there when I have lost this weight and I can eat in moderation when I get to my goal and that keeps me going because it, it's, it's silly to throw all of it away just for a cheat meal and then you end up feeling terrible after so Take occasional cheats. Don't go crazy with it, though. Um, as far as what else I don't have, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. My friends will be hanging out and drinking, and I just know alcohol, for some reason, it will, even if I just take one shot or one mixed drink, it destroys my weight loss. What, like, I had one, a few mixed drinks one week, a few weeks back, and it kept me at the same weight for a week, and I'm convinced that it was the alcohol because that's the only thing that I had over the weekend that would have stunted my weight loss so severely. So from that point on, I said no more alcohol for probably the rest of the time. I might, I might have a little bit like on holidays, like or my birthday. My birthday's coming up in November, so I might have a little bit on my birthday, but it it slows down my weight loss, so it's got to go. Just simple. You make sacrifices when you have goals to reach, so just one of those sacrifices so I just started the apple cider vinegar and water whoo it is disgusting that is so nasty apple cider and water is disgusting y'all um, I did take it the first time as a shot and I won't ever do that again I will not ever do that again because it's nasty but what I did find that works for me is I will get a water bottle that's fresh out of the fridge and cold and I will put maybe two or three capfuls of apple cider vinegar in it every single morning. I'll drink that on the way to work and I pretty much guzzle it because it's so gross. You don't want to enjoy it. It tastes terrible. I, I know people will mix it with like honey and lemon and cinnamon and all that. I don't have time for all of that, so I just throw it in the water and just chug it down. But it has so many benefits, I've heard. It it helps um, clear up your skin, it helps regulate your stomach, um, and digestion helps keep you regular. I know that's not something cute, but yeah, it helps you go to the bathroom every day, which is important for weight loss. You wanna keep going to the bathroom and um, clear it all that out to keep your system nice and clean so you'll keep dropping the scale um, but yeah the apple cider vinegar so far it's working the first few days I took it I actually lost like three maybe three pounds in two days I don't know if it was because of the apple cider vinegar but I feel like it was because that's the only thing that really changed um, but if you don't have apple cider vinegar, definitely get it. You want to get the kind that says the mother on it because that keeps the, um, it's like a basic, uh, it's like chemistry and I don't know all of this, but on a chemistry level, there's something in the vinegar that helps more. And if you get the filtered kind or it doesn't say the mother, then that special part of it is not in there. 
yeah that didn't really make sense but whatever um you want the kind that looks gross and it's all cloudy basically that's the one that's going to work the best so um yeah definitely do apple cider vinegar it's working for me try it out do weigh myself daily just because i know i'm very determined right now i'm not going to stop even if i see the scale go up overnight like eight pounds for no reason i don't care i'm gonna bust my butt and i'm gonna keep going even if it's gone up that's it's not me to see the scale and give up because it went up a few pounds because i know i did study nutrition in um, undergrad and I know there's no way you can gain two, three, even a pound really overnight because to gain a pound overnight, you would have to seriously eat the amount of calories your body takes to operate. So let's say my body needs 2,200 calories to operate during the day. That's just to um, keep going, to maintain itself. Um, on top of that 2,200 calories to maintain my body, I would have to consume 3,500 calories to gain a pound. So there's no way, if I'm eating the way I should, that I ate like 5,000, 5,500 calories. There's no way. So it, the way that my mind set up, I can work through it in my head like, okay, that's water weight on this scale. It, it's nothing so I need to up my water today so weighing myself daily does keep me on track I know a lot of people it's very discouraging and they choose to weigh maybe once a week or once a month whatever works for you that's fine I choose to weigh myself daily because it keeps me on track it helps me to know what I need to switch up what's not working anymore it helps me catch it early instead of waiting a whole week and it's been like that for the whole week and I could have changed it so I weigh myself daily do whatever you want to do. Um, as far as my goals, I have lost 20 pounds. Actually, it's more than that now. It's um, I'm almost at 25 pounds now, and it's been uh, another week. So I'm I'm really flying now, but I do have a lot to go. This 20 pounds is just the chip off the top of the iceberg. I do have a lot to go. Um, I don't plan on quitting. It's gonna take a while. I started April 24th, so I'll probably be going through next April or maybe a little, a little bit <laughs> a little bit longer than that, um, but it's okay. I'm going to do it for as long as I need to do it. This, I, I, will, I will say I have started and stopped, started and stopped on diets and trends and losing weight a lot in the past and now I am for serious this is for real I am not stopping I'm going until I reach my goal and that's it I'm not doing this anymore this is going to be the last time I'm going to reach my goal sometime next year I will be at my goal weight you guys it's going to happen I know it is this time because I'm more motivated than I ever have been um, there was a time in college I lost, the most weight I've ever lost at once is like 26 pounds. And then I celebrated my birthday and gained it all back because I never went back on the plan I was doing. So I'm almost to that 26 pounds. I'm almost to the most I've ever lost. And I'm going to keep going. It's not going to stop. This is just the beginning. If you guys want to watch my channel and watch my journey, I will be doing check-ins periodically, let you guys know what's going on. Um, I'm also going to do other stuff like outfits of the day, um, I can do hair reviews, makeup. I'm not really wearing much today, but I can do a few makeup reviews. Um, if you want to see something specific, just leave it down in the comments and I will read those and put some things together for you guys. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe down below. Please leave comments um, on ideas, whatever you liked about this video. I love to hear from you guys. Follow me on social media and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching.